Uh, well, speaking of your Please. little gay dreams, it's time to go back in the time machine. Okay. Where are we? We're in Justin's youth. Look at, we're in your room. There's pictures of alternative rockers on the wall. <laughs> and you're sneaking a lady outfit and pouty face in the mirror. Yes. Uh, so you grew up in Chicago? Chicago, yeah. And uh, you came out at 14, 14. so... You what you were? Tell me about little Justin. So I was not sneaking any lady out. Oh no, they were, they were just full, full, full view. Uh huh. Um, yeah, I mean, when I was young, always just all I cared about was like Little Mermaid and Annie. Okay. And those um, were clues. They were big clues. Big clues. Um, I went at my mom always says like whenever like my brothers would like pick up a stick and make it a gun, it was always a magic wand for mm. me. <laughs> Proudly femme since I was a child. God bless. Um, and uh, then like I went to an arts high school. My first semester of high school, I went to public school mm. out in the suburbs of Chicago, and I almost died from all of the insane gay bashing. Right. So uh, I always wanted to go to the art high school downtown. My parents were like, maybe when you're a junior, because it's like a 40 minute commute. Right. Like we can't send a little 14 year old homosexual on yeah. the train, you're gonna die. Um, but then they realized keeping me in the suburban public schools where I actually would <laughs> That's die. That's you actually would die, yeah. right. <laughs> so uh, they're like, well, if you can audition and get in for second semester, you can go. Um, and I wasn't that good, but I knew if I told them that I was going to die, uh -huh. <laughs> if I stayed there, they would let me in. Right. That's, that's what I did, and they let me in. Um, so then so, suddenly it was like, fame! Like you were yeah. dancing! Uh -huh. da -da 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 <laughs> I just want to listen to that. I don't even want to talk anymore. Um, yeah, so went to this amazing high school where like the, <clears throat> like the, our version of a quarterback was like whoever was the oldest, most like flamboyant man. Wow. Ran the school. Amazing. Um, so when yeah. I was a freshman, it was a man named Happy who um, was like a beautiful six foot seven, um, gorgeous black guy with like silver painted hair. That was Lady Red actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey girl. Happy, how come you changed your name? <laughs> 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 she can't talk because she's busy with them donuts. <laughs> um, she's trying to act like she's shading me, but she's really chewing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Happy. Um, oh so Happy was there. So, and then luckily I got to rule for junior and senior year. Oh my. Because there wasn't a seat, when I was a junior, there wasn't a senior that could really keep it up. Uh -huh. But it was you know, in the 90s, so it was all about the platforms. Right. And like the skin type flare. Uh -huh. um, that was happening. Lots of like plastic coats. Mm -hmm. much like <laughs> <laughs> Some things we continue to hold on to even in our adulthood. Um, yeah, it was good. And it, I was like started in musical theater at high school as a musical theater major and then transferred to music and started uh -huh. writing songs. Right. Um, I, my, my, my proudest accomplishment is I founded an AIDS benefit at my high school. Really? Where it's like I directed a show and like all the students from all the different majors got together to make it and we raised all this money for an AIDS charity in Chicago and it's still happening 18 years later. Wow, look Every at that. Year, very, student, very nice. It's very nice. Yeah, the Chicago Academy for the Arts. If anyone wants to donate money to a great place. Get your checkbooks out. <laughs> Come on, that's good. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, I, oh, my room, we were talking about my room. Yeah, yeah, like, it take, take me there. It was actually with rainbow paint. Oh. I had lyric quotes uh -huh. from like Ani DeFranco, mm -hmm. Paula Cole. Oh, Paula Cole, where have all the cowboys gone? Girl, I don't know. The quote I, had, <laughs> well, the quote I had was from a song called Me. Uh, and it was, I'm walking on the bridge, I am over the water, and I'm oh, scared as hell, but yes. I know there's something better. Yes, I listened <laughs> to that album deep back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jewel quotes. Oh, of but course. of course. Well, how can you even live without a Jewel quote? But Jewel was as pop as I got back uh -huh. then. <clears throat> so then there was also a, a many Courtney Love quotes. Mm -hmm. I, there had to be at least one or two Gwen quotes. Um, yeah, it was it was really special, very calm, not not gay at all place to live. <laughs> no, no, just no. Just paint everywhere. Just lady work. I mean, it's very like you telling the future <laughs> right around Isn't you. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. It was funny. It's like, and then like having the degree in songwriting, and yet I never like focused on that. It was always about trying to be a star and all that shit. And once I decided to just focus on songwriting, everything changed.